love is a mysterious thing. It's something that I think most of us uh, strive to achieve at one point in life, to tr find our true love, our one partner, our soulmate. And sometimes we think we find it, but, but then we don't. And that's where this show comes in, the moment of truth it is a show i'm not sure actually when it came out 2008 contestants answer 21 very personal and embarrassing questions in front of their loved ones they cannot lie as their true answers have been recorded by a lie detector test so i originally found this uh because mika showed me the cody co video on the moment of truth in cody's video he watched the video of the moment of truth and in Cody's video, he reacted to the moments of truth. Cody did a video on it, Cody Co's channel. He's done a video on it already. I don't want to hear anybody be like, Ethan, you're copying Cody Co. Yeah. Anyway, Cody did a video on this already. If you want to check it out, go to his channel. I watched a little bit of it. Very funny, but I wanted to make a video myself on it and, and react to it. We'll probably skip through it a bit because it's 43 minutes long. Anyway, let's just get to it, dude. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. Is there any way this to make this? This episode was so controversial, oh, no. it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Asking <laughs> Just that sentence. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. <laughs> he's just, he's not lying at all. Tonight, the controversial episode you weren't supposed to see. Okay. Housewife Lauren Cleary <laughs> will say anything. Why? This, why? Why? Why are there so many flash transitions? You know Here we go. The moment of truth. It's so much and like yeah, it's a reality TV show especially back in 2008. It's just a lot I don't know. Maybe I'm being too nitpicky about the editing and about the VFX and stuff But it's just a lot prior to tonight's show all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam They don't know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth They can win up to a half a million dollars And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test mm -hmm. they can change their answers tonight Let's meet our first participant. Oh boy. So they take a polygraph test and they answer on the polygraph test. And if the answer matches up with what they, with what the polygraph test says, then they get money. So every time they get an answer right, they get more money. But the thing about it is that during the polygraph test, you would want to be telling the truth because the answers have to line up with the polygraph test. Whether or not you, you said the, right thing or not, if the polygraph test thinks that you're lying and then you say true to whatever and the polygraph test says nah, that was actually false. Did I explain that well? Lauren Cleary is a 26 year old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. All right, she Lauren. is the oldest of three children. She is married to a New York City police officer. Right. She Wonderful. was asked over 50 questions by 50 a polygraph questions. examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Great. Lauren Cleary, this is your moment of truth. WWE intro. <laughs> Backlit with all of the smoke. Nice to have you here, Lauren. Nice to be here. How are you feeling right now? Great, I'm pumped. I guess that are you? Lauren, as you know, there are six levels of questioning. The further you go, the harder the question oh, you get, boy. and the more oh, money boy, oh, boy. you can win. You can quit at any time, Lauren. Take the money. But once you hear a question, you have to answer that question. Remember, okay. if you're caught lying even one time, you lose everything and the game is over. So you gotta answer the questions, and if you get them right, you get money. So she can back out. I want everybody to to remember this. If it's going in a certain direction and she's like, these questions are getting risky, because remember, her family and her husband, I believe, they're all there. So if she doesn't want to <laughs> ruin her relationship and her entire life, she can back out at any moment and take the money. Take the money. Or she can keep answering these questions and get more money. You brought family and friends to support you as well. Let's meet them right now. Who's here? I'm Frank, Lauren's husband. Hello, Frank. Hey, Frank. I'm Jay, I don't... Uh, Lauren's father. I'm a little afraid for you, Frank. Tim, Lauren's mother. Hi, I'm Monica, Lauren's sister. And I'm Tim, Lauren's brother. Welcome to all of you. Thank you all so much for coming. Also, guys, just want to remind you before we get into it. 
What a segue! The Pride merch is now on sale! It's been on sale since June 1st because it's Pride Month. Are you gay? <laughs> ah! 70% of all proceeds this month from the Pride merch. This is only going to be available until the end of June once it rolls over to July. But all the Pride merch, 70% uh, of the proceeds are going to the Trevor Project, except for one day, 100% of the proceeds are going to be going to Trans Lifeline. We're going to be doing a charity stream. I'll get, I'll tell you about that later. If you want to go and check it out, CraigKBillies.com. Go to the Soft Boy section, any of the Pride merch on sale now. 70% of the proceeds are going to the Trevor Project. Let's get back into it! You know that these questions range from sometimes the silly to the very personal. Are you ready for this? Mm. Ready? I'm okay. I hope nah. that you are. Lauren, are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I am too. Let's. Why would you put yourself in this situation? Start with level one, and it has six questions. Right. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. Mm -hmm. You win ten thousand dollars, and that's a good start. So it? I'm assuming. Remember, if you're ever concerned about the answers you gave on your polygraph exam, you can change them if you want tonight. Okay. What do you okay. do for a living? I am the manager at a salon. Question one. Is that? As an employee. Oh. <laughs> I thought that that was the first question. He was like, all right, good. I was like, oh, real softball questions started off. Okay. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when in fact you did? Had to have. Right? Easy peasy. Well, Had to have. No, I have never. You that have never done that? Is true. Wow. wow. Lauren's looking to be a good person so far. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? Have I ever done that? Does mooning someone Frank, count? You mooned a lot of people when I was a kid. You know her. <laughs> I flash strangers, so I'm sure she's <laughs> flashed strangers. <laughs> Frank, you I seem like a good guy. Yeah, <laughs> We're all laughing and having a good time. I'm going to have to say yes, Lauren. Mm -hmm. I have. Yes, you have. Okay. All right. Harmless, that you know? Oh, her, her dad is, her dad is not happy <laughs> about that at all. That <laughs> He's so is disappointed. True. Uh, I understand you used to work as a veterinary assistant. Yes. You like animals? Love animals. I guess that would be important there, huh? Oh yeah. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Huh. Okay. Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to a dog rather than a person. So your answer would be? Little iffy. That's my that answer. Is. <laughs> That's my daughter. There she is. That wasn't really a good answer. True. One of the things I find so interesting about this program is that you'll answer something like that and invariably the audience will applaud. That's right. Don't give food to homeless. Give it to the dog. That's hey, what I, I was just about to make a comment face. about that. And you have somebody who's got a really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make it any better. Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? I don't like the way that that was worded. Yes, I have. This is easy. True. True. All right, two now more, Lauren, and you win that you're here. 10 grand. Not, you do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. Yeah. If at any time you hear a question you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button. We'll take that question out, replace it with a new question. You can only use oh. it once, okay? Yes. You want to try it once, Frank? Why not? What? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Does that count? Because he said that you can only use it once, and then he- did he just trick them? Do you want to try it out? Yeah, go for it. And then they don't get it ever again, and they have to hear everything! Did you say you're a trustworthy person? Uh-oh. I think so. Yeah? Yes. People can count on you? I think so. Question five. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? I think you're a trustworthy person. Do you think, uh, people can count on you? Oh yeah. Definitely, for sure. All right, have you ever stolen money from a job that you worked at? Well. That's not okay. a good start. Well. Are you waiting for them to hit the button? No, 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 not waiting at all. You're um, okay with this. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I've come to terms with uh, accepting this. So, uh, yes, I have gotten fired from job. So you got caught, huh? Is true. <laughs> Her family <That's> clapping. <laughs> One more truthful question, $10,000. Want to tell me about the time that you got fired? I don't 
typically like to talk about it. So what's in the past is in the past. So I like to. I'm moved on a completely different person now. So. Where you are, Dave. I hope to some degree you have, since your husband is a police officer. So what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So I am. She's in my prison. This is a really weird analogy, Frank. Frank Cleary, this is your ten thousand dollar moment of truth. Question six: If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? Lauren. Kind of tricky to answer, given what you've just shared, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much, because it will kind of contradict itself. Oh yes, <laughs> you did going say to that. Say, no, I would not. She did just say right yeah. before this that she's a different person now. Something we'll find out right after this break. Oh, right Mark, you can't do that to right us. This. Come on. After this round, I'm probably not going to show every single question. Probably just the juicy ones. So we'll finish off this round. That answer is... True. Lauren. What a saint you are! What an angel! You get to the top of level two, you'll win $25,000. You have to answer five questions to get there. But you can stop at any time. Do you want okay. to go on? So less questions What do you guys think? <laughs> oh, this is so uncomfortable. And it's just gonna, it's gonna get so much worse is the thing. We haven't even gotten to the hard questions yet. Here we go, the $25,000 questions. Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep oh. <laughs> in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? That's a very specific yes. answer. We'll see. So, all right. Well, the question is on you, That's a pretty specific Warren. question. Oh, Frank. Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> okay. The answer is E. It's true. It's true. True. Right? Yeah. Her dad looks the most uncomfortable. On your way that one's not that bad. Not too bad, you know. It's all right. Um, used to. Not so much anymore. <laughs> used to. But is it because maybe you lied to all of them? Maybe? We're going to stop now, or do you want this question? Go, Lauren. You're doing great. I want the question. Go. Go oh, for it. Not a final question. 25K. This one knows your real, real softball stuff. You can watch Warren, the full this is your $25,000 moment of truth. Here we go, 25K. Question 11. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Ooh! Oh, no! Oh! This is so rough! You guys are about to get a divorce. Yes, that answer is. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Oh, he's la Why are you laughing? Yeah. <laughs> what is this reaction? Congratulations, Warren. You just won $25,000. How does that feel? Why did he react like that? I don't imagine that the secrets are good secrets. Unless it's like, I'm taking your mother on a surprise trip to Hawaii for her Valentine's Day. It's going to be great. Please don't tell her. Unless it's something like that. Why is he celebrating? I feel like it's bad that was a really weird reaction for him to have i'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her yeah what was, was up that with that or that she's keeping the secret <laughs> <laughs> i'm already in trouble i don't know Coach. i don't know we're about to continue with lauren cleary in her attempt to win five hundred thousand dollars as i said before this is the most uncomfortable i've ever been on television mm. quite honestly if i had had my vote it would not have aired all right. But since the decision was made to broadcast <laughs> it, go. I want to warn you, what you're about to see is very difficult to watch. All right. Can't wait for cringe, dude. Thank you so much, Mark, for the for the heads up. I really appreciate that. And I'm looking at this next tier, not later on, right now. It's going to get deep. You want to continue? Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just I feel a lot better getting this everything I need to get off my chest. Hmm. So she's not in it for the money. 
she just wants to speak her going. truth, which I feel like you could just do privately instead of publicly in front of however many people uh, watch the TV show. How many views does this have? Okay, four and a half million views, plus anybody that watches this video or any other reaction videos of this. So million, probably tens, maybe even hundreds of millions of people <laughs> have now watched you tell your truth when you could have just done it privately because apparently you don't care about the money. Are you telling the truth, Lauren? How's the communication between you and your husband, Frank? Uh... Uh-huh, so the hesitation. Working You're working on it. Is that more of you need to work on it or Frank needs to work on it? Because from the teasers that we've seen, it seems like maybe you need to work on it a little bit. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? <laughs> what do you think, Frank? I think I want to hear her answer. Oh, oh Frank, you sweet summer child. You're about to just uh, get destroyed. The answer is no. No, you don't. Not that he knows that about. Answer is. True. There you go. I didn't expect that. That no. one scared me. Really? Yeah. That, yeah, that was one spooky. <laughs> A little bit. I got, I got confidence in her, though. You so have I trust her. Yeah. <laughs> you occasionally like the girls' night out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A good it's girl's important important night out. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Question uh -oh. 13. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? That's a big no-no. That's a big no-no. You can take off your wedding ring, but not for that, that purpose. I tried to warn you. No, it's okay. Um, yes, I have. Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. I don't know why her dad True. looks like he's enjoying this. It's in place now. That's 13 triple answers. That's not really a good time for a joke, Lauren. Frank, how do you feel about that? Maybe I'm sure she has her reasons. I'll we'll find out later. I think the r the reason would be t to um have sex with somebody else specifically with how the question was phrased because it said have you ever taken your wedding ring off to make it seem as though you were single this is a doozy mm -hmm. all right a doozy Stop here we go before i ask the question if you don't want to answer it hit the button if you don't want to hear the answer so uh i'll just ask you this before we get into the question did you and your husband have a nice honeymoon oh, did you have a nice <laughs> honeymoon <laughs> Ooh, ooh. Was, nice. was it rough? Frank? <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. We enjoyed ourselves. It doesn't seem Question like 14. you did. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? On your wedding day? Oh, yikes. Oh, what is man. this music? Does this music play for them, too? <laughs> <laughs> Her mom is fucking pissed, by the way. Look at that. F oh my god, she is so mad. Also, why hesitate? Because the hesitation is truth in itself that you're about to say, yes, I was. Otherwise, you wouldn't hesitate. Yes, I believe I was. That answer is true. One more, you win a hundred thousand. That wasn't even the final question sure of the I'm round. The only one watching this program wondering if that hundred thousand dollars is worth it given what we're doing. <laughs> but it's your world, Hold on. your relationship, your choices. Frank. I really wanted him to say point blank. Is the money worth it? <laughs> <laughs> to ruin, potentially ruin all of these relationships? Those feelings on your wedding day. Uh, no. I knew that she did have feelings for, you know, ex-boyfriends. Yeah, everybody does. I didn't know that she might have been in love with them. So, this is my opinion. You can have different opinions if you want. Obviously, Frank does. If you are aware <laughs> that your partner 
um, has feelings for somebody else, regardless of whether they're in love with them, but you know that your partner has feelings for somebody else, maybe you shouldn't get married. And maybe you should talk about those and figure that out before you um, proceed in your relationship, period. Let alone getting married. One more question gets you $100,000. All right, Lauren, $100,000. Unless you tell me to stop. She's, no, she's on a roll, I baby. can't talk you into stopping, yeah. <laughs> no, she's... No, she's I'm ready for ready a number for it, She's ready for that 100K. She does not care about anything. <sighs> All right. I, um... I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm gonna give it to you. You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. Okay. And this question will not be asked by me. Oh, God. It's by a surprise guest. Oh, my. Is it Lauren, <laughs> can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? Go ahead, Lauren. Tell us. I, I can't speak right now, so. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. I mean, we all saw that coming, yeah? We all knew. As soon as you walked out, we all knew. Frank, are you happy to be here, bud? I would not. If if a game show approached me and was like, hey, we're doing this thing, like, because they'd have to tell him what's going on. I'd be like, nah, dog, I'm good. That's way too uncomfortable for me. Frank has a question for you. Huh. <laughs> huh. This question is for $100,000 when you're ready. Question. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Frank, I'm sorry, bud. I'm really, really sorry, bud. That question is a devastating question. Of course. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. Oh, he could hit the button. Yeah. No? Oh, her sister hit the button! Her sister hit the button! <laughs> but they have to ask a different question. Oh, they're booing her. Well, like, we already know the answer, basically. Right? Why do that? Okay. Like, you Hold know the answer. Second. What's the... Audience, I know that this is entertaining to watch. What's the point in this in the butt? This is real. Frank wanted to hear the answer to this question. Monica, why did you hit the button? I don't want to hear that answer. I don't think anyone would want to hear that answer. <laughs> But what's the point? Like, you know the answer. I have a question to replace that with. Before I do that, my question to you, Lauren, is, did she just save you or cost you $100,000? Sure, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that you know if you watch the program is that I will replace the question, but I can't guarantee that that question's going to be any easier. Here's oh another question that your ex-boyfriend, Frank, will ask in place. Oh, he's going to answer this. He's going to say the question? Do you believe... I'm the man you should be married to. So that's kind of the same. That's kind of the same question. Well. Uh, 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 <laughs> stop. Um, um, I want to be honest and say yes. That answer is. Why is he smiling again? True. Why, d uh, d dude? <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. You've answered 15 <laughs> questions truthfully. This is really You've won $100, fucking rough, dude. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, can I go, <laughs> please? Can I just uh, leave? Might as well just go for it. That's so sad. This is a little bigger than the game right now. <laughs> Isn't this the game? Isn't this what the game is? Or tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What else, what else is there to really tell me? What? Yeah. The foreshadowing <laughs> is <laughs> uncomfortable. You only need three questions to win $200,000, but as you know, you only have to mess up once to lose everything. Okay. Mom, what do you say for her to do? I say, Mom take always it, leave it now. now. Mom would say that. My mother would say that. She's a I, I'm going to keep on going because... 
Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. So there's three questions left for $200,000. I will let you know that the questions I've already asked you, a couple of them, are way over my line. This one's further than that. <laughs> you probably know what's coming next. So. You can back out! Question six. Right now! Since you've been oh. married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? <laughs> oh, God, she's so upset. Oh, my God. I mean, I would be, too. I wish the button was still there. Yeah. Telling me. Oh, my God. Who is she looking at? I'm going to have to say yes. I'm gonna have to say yes. That answer is... Uh, true. You cheated on your true. husband. You cheated okay, on right. your husband. Why are people but clapping? Why the fuck are people clapping? One mistake, you lose it all. Or are you feeling like you should go for it now? Yes. Okay. Is it 17. worth it? <laughs> Do you think you're a good person? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. You think that you're a good per- You think that you're a good person? After cheating on your husband, after taking off your ring to appear single, after admitting to being in love with somebody else, on your wedding day, and then saying in front of your husband and your whole family, I would rather be married to this other dude that is right here in front of us right now. And also, yeah, mom and dad, you got some stuff to work out because dad's keeping secrets from you. You think that you are a good person? That answer is... It's true. It's true. It's true. <laughs> but for Frank, that's fucking killer, dude. She just lost $200,000. There's no way that they're not getting a divorce, right? I mean, I hope to God because I feel so bad for that dude. But she loses on that question. Hey, do you think you are a good person? Yeah, definitely. Nope. Actually, you don't. You just lied, um, and you just lost all the money and ruined kind of all of your relationships. She just lost everything. Warren, I am so, so sorry. Are you? Why do you think this came up as a lie for you when I asked you, do you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that I... That's the one that you bring up? I'm a better person. That's why I think I am a good person. Yet it came up as a lie, which means that somewhere in you, you haven't forgiven yourself. And you, somewhere, your truth is that you don't think you're a good person at all. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family? And I thank you very much, Norm, for being on the show. I wish you the best. I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Me too. I mean, where do you go from there? Holy shit, that was uncomfortable. Great stuff there. 2008 you really did it to us oh boy okay so okay the inflation rate in the united states between 2008 and today has been 24 percent so let's call it 25 percent 250k quarter of a million dollars that she <laughs> she lost i mean i do want to say um i could do that math in my head i didn't have to use the calculator but it was here and so i pulled it up just so i could show it visually okay I don't want to hear it. That was so uncomfortable. God damn, did she deserve to lose all of that money? I hope that she's getting a divorce. I hope that that dude, for that guy's sake, I hope that they are not still together. She's ruined pretty much all of her relationships with um, her friends and her family. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope that you're doing okay on the other side. I feel gross. Uh, that was super uncomfortable to watch. The moment of truth. What a show. I'm gonna go do something else. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. What is something crazy crew?